It is in this house, a house like any house, that I, Eduardo Rossellini, am breaking the biggest story of this or any century. With me now is Samantha Glick, who personally claims to have captured Bigfoot. Sam, talk to America. You pig. Cut. What are you doing here? Reporting. That's what reporters do. Oh, you're no reporter. And your name's not even Eduardo Rossellini, it's Eddie Rose. Hey, ethnic sign. Hey, this is not Eddie Rose, this is my story. Your story? I did all the work. I even got some pinhead animal expert coming here from downtown. Hey, is he here yet? Uh, no, you're the only pinhead to arrive, so... You know, I'm sensing a lot of negativity. Look, here. if you don't leave right now, I'm gonna call the police. Please yeah. do. My ratings double every time I get arrested. I can't... <laughs> now, who's that? Probably my Bigfoot guy, covered. Hey, there, excuse me, but is this the Henderstone? You're the Bigfoot guy? <laughs> Walter Potter, animal control. Nice. Hi. We've never will. met Walter Potter. Animal control? Oh. Hi there. We've never met Walter Potter. Animal control. Yeah, hi there, Walter. We've never met. Must be a big day for both of you. Okay, roll it. You're an animal expert. If a Bigfoot met up with a human person, would he rip him to shreds, eat his heart out like a Satanist? What? Uh, no, he'd run. Run? Yeah, that's right. Legend has it that a Bigfoot can run over 100 miles uh, without stopping. So you're saying he'd be long gone by now? Absolutely. Well, either that or he'd be hiding in the garage. No, I don't think so. Let's just have a I'm ready to uh, give my statement now. You what? Uh huh. My journalistic integrity has triumphed over my personal disgust for you and your cheap cologne. <laughs> Samantha Glick is not your typical nutcase who usually reports Bigfoot sightings, although Sam does see a therapist to work out her relationship problems with men, but hey, that's her business. Sam, talk to America. I was in my house and I turned around and there was this thing. Uh, huh? Samantha. Best friend. When you say thing, you mean Bigfoot. Well, I did see what looked like big feet, but um, the shadows in my kitchen are really tricky at that time of day. You know, maybe you could do a show called Shadows in the Kitchen and Things They Look Like, or, oh, did Oprah already do that? Cut, Jack. I get it, Glick. You set me up. There is no Bigfoot. That's very sneaky, cruel, underhanded. I like that.